Hey, welcome back everyone for some more of my Pittsburgh United career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to continue on the season here. We are in the middle of August. And to take a look at the calendar here real quick. I do plan on playing this game against Philadelphia. I'm probably going to sim these two games against Toronto and New York Red Bulls. And then I'm going to be playing this uh, uh, Lamar Hunt US Open Cup game against... Uh, Orlando, we are in the quarterfinals of that competition, and I'll probably end the episode by playing this away match against New England, and then probably save the rest of September for the next video, so hope you guys look forward to that. By the way, I hope you guys have an awesome day today, hope you guys are doing well. Now, I did go ahead and make one transfer while we're in between the episodes here, and I'll show you exactly who I brought in. And I brought in Timothy Weyer. I got him from Freiburg, though originally he's from Lille. And you can see he has that special something. He can either play as a striker or right mid. I'm actually training him to be a left winger, and hopefully that won't take too long. So he will be my new backup left winger, and um, I will show you here on the... Uh, the backup team, he is already at a 79 rated. He is one of the highest rated players in our backup squad, so he's going to fit in real nicely, hopefully. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to give him a go here for this game here against Philadelphia. It is on the road because I do want to play this game, and I am going to go ahead and sim the match against um, both Toronto and New York Red Bull, so... But without further ado, I am going to give Timothy Weyer a debut here. It's been a while since I've seen the Philadelphia no away kits, so I'm going to go ahead and just put the away kits on them. See Carlos uh, Rodriguez as a feature player, 83 rated backup center mid. I almost did sell him, but I decided not to. As Philadelphia kicks things off here. Nice turnover there by, um, Papa. Timothy Weyer going out in the wing. He gets his first assist in the Pittsburgh United outfit as Michael Hopper get, finishes it off here. Hopper passes it to Weyer. Weyer? I'll tell you what, he's fitting in already as he crosses it to Tejon Buchanan. So that's two assists for the young American winger. Oh! Is that on side? Yeah, it is. We are almost getting a third assist there. But for whatever reason, my team just did not 
responders cross. His crossing, his crossing is so crisp. And Tejon Buchanan buries that. So yeah, a solid debut for Timothy Ware. I could not be happier about that. Harry will get to go back for them in the 90th minute. But yeah, I could not have asked for a better debut for Timothy, Timothy Way, well, except if he would have scored, but... As a matter of fact, he's coming back to me, he's saying, Hey boss, I know people in the top at the position you're playing me in. I just wanted to say I'm ready to do whatever's necessary to make us successful. I'm happy he plays a left winger if that's part of your plan. You'll do for me, kiddo. You had an awesome debut for me. But I am going to put my strongest starting 11 here. I am going to be simming this game against Toronto. Jacob Jones. He has 13 goals and uh, 3 assists. In 14 matches, 16 goal involvements all together. Got bigger games ahead. Let me see if he's ready. Nope. But anyway, like I said, I am going to sim this game against Toronto FC. Hopefully we can get, get another dub here. And we get a draw. Max Woods uh, 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 says the spoils here in the 90th minute. Endo ends up uh, scoring in the 58th minute for them. But we do draw points, which is not ideal. But at least we didn't lose. And we still have a 17-point lead over New York City FC, though they do ha No, right, no, they don't. They have played one more game than we have. Ursa, thanks for showing faith in me. It's already at a, a 78 rating. That's pretty impressive. And I'm going to go ahead and sim this game against New York Red Bulls. Okay, Jones is now tied for Jovovich for the leading goal scorer list. Players on international duty, I'm not too concerned about that. But I am going to send my first team again here against New York Red Bulls. This is at home. We we have lost this team before, so I am a little bit hesitant doing this. And we get the 3-1 win. Word, Ocampo, and Brown scoring for us. Wood's been scoring a lot of goals in sim games. I do like seeing that. Hopper came on for Conrad, and Rodriguez came on for Eustachio. Okay, Jacob Jones has not been performing in sim matches, which kind of bothers me a little bit, but hopefully he can get the goal scoring form going again. Surely he has to be ready to go, uh, be a left winger. One more week. Okay. Hopefully, he, if he has another good game here, maybe he'll be ready. Suppose he hasn't... He, because it did say two weeks originally. Uh, what? Yeah, it's not quite two weeks. I just bought him in the Philadelphia game, so it's not quite two weeks. So I just need to be a little bit more patient. 
But I'm going to go ahead and sim ahead here. We are going to play this match against Orlando. This is at home. I am going to be playing with my second team. Hopefully, Timmy, Timmy Weah has an awesome game for us again. Clear skies at three rivers. You can see he was in that outfit. He was the player modeling our outfit there. I still think it's rather amusing. I decided to go with the Newcastle United walkout anthem. Okay, Buchanan is out wide this time. Where I see you. Can you get a first goal for me? Yes, you can. And what a finish. I think I just found my thumbnail. Timothy Weir, his first goal in Pittsburgh United Colors. Hopper with the nice finish there. Lucio passing it to Buchanan. Can I not get another goal for Wea? Yes, I can. So Timothy Weah with a brace so far. Oh, not a good pass by Hopper. Rodriguez passing it to Buchanan. Timothy Weah, can you get a hat trick? Yes, you can. So he had a hat-trick of assists against Philadelphia, now he has a hat-trick of assists against Orlando. So, yeah, he's going off, getting off to a flying start here for us in this career mode. Daryl Dake got a goal back for them in the 51st, but um, uh, Jedi came on for Ibsen Rossi, Kempembe came on for Ursa, and McKinney came on for Moeller. And we will be playing against the San Jose Earthquakes. Which, didn't we play against them last year in the final of the U U.S. Open Cup? I think we did. Would much prefer to play into Miami, but it is what it is. As we are on transfer deadline day. We do have two emails here. Matches have been rescheduled. And we won 50 grand for advancing to the final of the competition, which really doesn't seem like a whole lot at all. We 
Let's reach a simmer head here to the end. Because I've done all the business I've wanted to. Chance to remember went to Herita. That's an interesting transfer. The former Newcastle uh, center back. Okay, transfer window closed. And a hop, a transfer offer from Celta Vigo for 11.5. Blocked. You see, we have a 20 point lead over both Orlando and New York. So, despite the loss, Orlando is still in good positioning in the uh, table. See, 21. How many games are left? Let me look here real quick. So, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. So there's 13 more games left and we have a 20 point lead. And we still got 39 more points to play for, so... Unless we have a major meltdown, we should have the uh, first place in the Eastern Conference locked up again this season. But we are going to be playing... Looks like we're going to be playing a rotated starting line 11 here. Way is going to get another start for me. Hmm. Papa's going to have to start. Am I going to have enough players to fill the team? I don't think I'm going to have enough players to fill the team. I might have to recall some players. Because what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I might have to recall some guys because I don't have enough players to fill the team. This is not ideal. Yeah, I don't have enough players to fill the team. So I need to recall a goalkeeper, a center mid, a winger, and a cam. I don't think I have any center mids to recall. Yeah, this is not ideal. So, yeah, Young, I'm going to be call on loan. I'm going to have to do that. Wow, Brian Graham has grown real nicely. I'm going to go ahead and just... Keep him there. I'm going to go ahead and recall Brandon Bell from loan. Okay, Nathan Palmer. Hmm. I'll go ahead and recall him. And Azulike, he's not going. I'm going to go ahead and recall him from loan. Yeah, this is kind of a bit of an unnecessary headache that I found myself in right now because I don't know what I'm supposed to do about... Yeah, that's that was not ideal. You know, I think I'm actually put Palmer in, start, uh, have him starting... 
Hoppe can be on the bench. Ezelike can be on the bench. And so can Young. But yeah, I didn't think I'd have to be messing around with this right now. But unfortunately, I have to do what I must. But anyway, we are going to be playing this game against New England. But yeah, if I, if I wasn't able to do that, I would have had to forfeit the match, which I really don't feel like forfeiting any matches because that brings down manager rating and all that. But you see Timothy Weyer, first time he'll be playing in the away kit. But we are going to go ahead and play this match. You see Timothy Weyer is our featured player here. Been awesome so far in the two games he played so far. Hopefully he can continue that in this game. Jacob Jones is a top goal scorer, the, although Jovovich is tied with him, so he does not have the sole lead in, in goals. I'm sorry, I cannot stand that new New England crest. I'd much prefer they would have kept their old one. Hey, Timothy, Timothy Weyer goes along the left-hand side here. I think I'm going to go all the way with him. I think I'm going to go all the way with him. But yeah, I thought Nathan Palmer was going to be something special, but that Brian Graham has already grown by five since he's out on loan. I think that was due to, come to think of it, I think that was because of position change. I don't think that's been because he's been out on loan, but the fact that he's able to grow that much already on his time, the short time here, that's very impressive. Way at passing it to Jones. Of course, Jones won't miss from there. Timothy Weyer crossing it. Oh! Wasn't able to find his man. Wesley McKinney, not strong enough header. I was kind of hoping he would use his foot instead of his head, but... It's kind of like a FIFA 21 thing that I've noticed. Jones again with the goal. I kind of wish I was celebrated with Weyer, but... Because Weyer made that happen. And Jones with a brace? So Timothy Weyer already with a goal and two assists in this game. He should definitely be ready to be turned into a winger now after this. Ah, not a good cross there. Manchester United have confirmed the chance of Alex Murray. So apparently they got tired of De, De, of De Gea. Rodriguez! That's offside. Yeah, don't celebrate. You're offside.
and Jacob Jones with the hat trick. As we're gonna go ahead and jump to the result. And we do hang on for the clean sheet as Elite came on for Timothy Weyer. None of the other guys I recalled made appearances, so... How long is international duty, anyway? Let me, let me look at the archive here real quick. Until the 6th. So it was only for that one game that I had to worry about. Okay, he is ready to be turned into the left winger, and he goes up to an 80 rating. And I'm going to do the right, uh, opposite side trick for Timothy Way. Hopefully, he'll continue to grow. Jacob Jones is now in an 84. Max Wood is now an 80 rating, which is awesome to see. Kempembe gets his starting position back. Mioska gets his place on the bench back. Turner gets his place on the bench back. De La Fuente will be getting his place on the starting 11 back. Bucio and then Buchanan. And I'm going to put... Eustachio in there. And then Reggie Cannon could get his place on the starting lineup back. And then I, I am going to end the episode by simming this game here against um, New York Red Bulls. You can see we have a 23-point lead over Orlando City now, and well, Orlando and New York. And then, with that hat trick, the Overwatch must have got sold. Because he, he, he was on the list, now he's not. Let me, let me see who he went to before I end the episode. Let's see, Yovelyich, where did he go? Yovelyich. Where did he go? He went to Charleroi. That's an interesting transfer. So Jacob Jones now is a mile ahead of everybody else now on the goal scoring list. We are going to go ahead and sim this game. This probably will not be a win, but I'm going to go ahead and just sim it anyway. That way I have one less game to deal with. If we do get the win, Conrad ends up scoring in the 40. Uh, third minute only for him to be subbed off uh, by Hopper. Rodriguez came on for McKenney and Busio came on for Word, but at least we're able to end the episode with another victory. But the next time I see you guys, we will be, be playing this game against Austin FC, and I do plan on doing at least the remainder of September, maybe getting into a little bit of October as well. And hopefully by the end of the next episode, we should be able to clinch the top spot in the Eastern Conference. That is the goal. Hopefully we'll be able to achieve that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll see you guys again next time.